Good day students, you are all welcome to another session of the e-learning program of the Lagos State Government. My name is Okewo Adewale, your economics tutor for today. I shall be taking you through the topic, theory of income determination. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe circular flow of income, explain the concept of investment consumption and savings. It is important to explain the key words associated with this topic to aid your understanding of the concept. Income. This refers to the total earnings of an individual through his contributions to the production of goods and services either by his personal efforts or through investment. Disposable income. This refers to an amount of money left for an individual to spend on consumption of goods and services as well as savings after the deduction of tax. It is denoted by YD. Household it refers to individuals who supply their services to the business sector for production and receive income in return. Firms. Firms refers to the business organizations who employs factor input for production. They use these factors of production in producing goods and make payments in wages, interest rate, interest rent, etc. Meaning of circular flow of income. The circular flow of income or circular flow is a model of the economy in which the major exchanges are represented as flows of money, goods and services, etc., between economic agents. It is a pictorial illustration of the interdependence between major sectors of economic activity, that is, household and firms. The flow of money, income, and goods exchange in a closed circuit correspond in value but run in the opposite direction. There are no injections, that is, investments or withdrawals, which is also known as savings, from the circular flow of income. The circular flow of income represents money. Moving through the economy, it shows how household purchases goods and services from the firms by using the income they earn from firms by working for them. Firms use factors such as capital, labor, and land from household so they can produce goods household purchases. The diagram of the circular flow of income is presented here to further aid your understanding. There are two sectors indicated, household and firms, as well as the flow of resources, income, as well as goods and services. The circular flow of income involves two basic principles. One, in any exchange process, the seller or producer receives the same amount which the buyer or consumer spends. Two, goods and services flow in one direction and money payments to acquire them flow in the return direction, giving rise to a circular flow. Conclusion from the circular flow of income. One, total production of goods and services by firms equal total consumption of goods and services by household sector. Two, factor payments by firms equals factor incomes of household sector. Three, consumption expenditure of household sector equals income of household sector. Four, reflows of production and consumption of firms and household equals money flows of income and expenditure and household. The circular flow of incomes gives a clear-cut picture 
of the economy by revealing the functionality or otherwise of an economy. Firms produce goods and services, and in the process of doing so, incomes are generated for the factors of production, land, labor, capital, and enterprise. For, an exa for example, wages and salary going to people in work. Thank you for your attention and participation. Please join me in the next broadcast. Thank you. You are all welcome back to the lesson on theory of income determination. We shall now be discussing the injections and withdrawals in the circular flow of income as well as the concept of savings. Leakages, withdrawals, or savings from the circular flow. Not all income will flow from households to businesses directly. The circular flow shows that some part of household income will be put aside for future spending, that is, savings, or paid to the government in form of taxation, or spent on foreign made goods in form of export. Withdrawals are increases in savings, taxes, or import, so reducing the circular flow of income and leading to a multiplied contraction of production output. Injections into the circular flow of income or investment. These are additions to investment, government spending, or export, so boosting the circular flow of income leading to a multiplied expansion of output. Capital spending by firms, which is also investment expenditure, could be this could be on new technology, the government's expenditure on national health insurance or defense, as well as overseas consumer buying, will all increase the circular flow of income. An economy is therefore in equilibrium when the rate of injection, which is investment, is equal to the rate of withdrawal savings from the circular flow of income. Concept of savings. Savings can be described as a part of income which is not spent on, the, on current expenditure, that is, part of disposable income which is not spent on the consumption of goods and services. Savings is income received by households that is not spent nor paid to the government in taxes. Savings are a withdrawal or leakage out of the circular flow of income. At a low level of income, savings is zero while it increases with increase in the level of income. Savings refers to the amount left over after an individual consumer spending is subtracted from the amount of disposable income and in a given period of time. It can be used to increase income through investment. Savings may take the form of increase in bank deposits, purchase of securities, or increase in cash holdings factor influencing savings interest rate higher interest encourages savings while low interest discourages savings expectation of future income three preference for future over present consumption savings is always equal to investment and lastly level of investment Reasons for savings to provide fund in emergency period, funds for daily purchases, and lastly to build wealth. Why savings is low in West Africa? The following are the reasons for low level of savings in West Africa, including Nigeria. One, low per capita income. Two, low level of investment. Three, high unemployment. Three, high rate of uh, poverty. 
poor economic policies and high level of consumption expenditure. Thank you for your attention and participation. Please join me in the concluding part of this lesson. You are all welcome back to the lesson on theory of income determination. In this concluding part, we shall now be looking at the meaning of investment as well as consumption. Investment. It refers to the purchase of goods that are not consumed today but are used in future to create wealth. It is the procurement of goods which are not meant for immediate consumption but are used to create wealth with expectation of future gains or benefits. It is the process of delaying present consumption to the future. It is a function of the level of savings in an economy. Investment refers to the creation of capital goods. Investment spending is an injection into the circular flow of income. And it is always equal to the level of savings. Determinant of investment. The following factors are the major determinant of investment in any economy. Interest rate. Level of savings. Level of taxation. Is company profit tax, general expectations on the economy, the expected return on the investment, business confidence about the economy and the ease of doing business, economic growth, that is, the future demand, availability of capital, inflation, as well as exchange rate policy in place. Investment can be stocks bonds, mutual funds, interest-bearing account, land, derivatives, real estate, art artworks, jewelries, anything or anything an investor believes will produce income, usually in the form of interest or rent or become worth more. How to encourage investment? The following are the factors that can be used to encourage investment in an economy. 1. Lowering the rate of interest. 2. Reduction in the tax in the level of taxation. 3. Increase in the public expenditure. This will provide essential infrastructural facilities to aid investments. Then price policy technological change and innovations, abolition of monopoly privileges and encouragement of competition, and last but not the least, economic planning. Since consumption tends to remain stable in, in the short period, it is changes in investment which determine aggregate demand and the resulting income and employment in the economy. Thus, by increasing the level of investment, the level of employment and income can be increased. Consumption Consumption refers to the portion of disposable income which is used to buy goods and services for immediate consumption. It refers to the final purchase of newly produced goods and services by individuals for immediate use in direct satisfaction of wants. The purchase of a new pair of shoes, a hamburger at the fast food restaurant or service like getting your house cleaned are all example of consumption expenditure. It is also known as consumer spending. Consumption equals disposable income minus savings. Factors affecting consumption. The following factors affect the consumption of goods and services. Price. If price are higher, then a person's total level of consumption will be lower. 2. Taxes. As taxes on goods and services, that is, sales tax rises, 
people may not be able to afford as much as they used to and as a result we consume less higher tax rates leads to less disposable income three savings the more money people save the less they have to consume in the short run four consumer confidence there may be delay in making purchases for goods and services if consumers are worried about the economy or their own future income importance of consumption consumption is the beginning as well as the end of all economic activities two consumption stimulates production of goods and services and three without consumption there would have been no exchange consumption influences the flow of income in an economy and lastly consumption determines the stand of the standard of living of the people the higher the income the lower the level of consumption consumption decreases with a rise in the level of income thank you for your attention and participation the following are the references for further studies fundamentals of economics by ruai and yamucha and the internet please make researches into factors which aid the consumption of certain goods and services in your economy.